Hey all, in this tutorial, I'll go through the entire process of using your NFT as collateral when you're minting a D1 input fund token. This might be interesting for you uh, for several reasons. One is using the D1 input token as collateral for your D2 fund, uh, arbitrage opportunities, purely investing into a D1 uh, fund while using your NFT becoming an LP, so a liquidity provider, or to withdraw another random NFT from the same pool. Uh, so I'll go through the entire process and I'll show you how it's done. Uh, and I will be using the Punk Basic pool to show because it's the most complex one to mint a D1 token from. Uh, so first step is making sure you have the actual uh, right NFT. So as I mentioned for Punk Basic, uh, there's one extra step versus the other pools, which is called wrapping. Uh, this is done through the wrappedpunks.com website, uh, which I will pull up and I'll connect my account to, uh, to show. So as it shows, I have no CryptoPunks here uh, because I have already wrapped my CryptoPunk into a wrapped punk. Uh, look at how cute he is. Um, so if you don't have a wrapped punk, you won't be able to go through the entire minting process. So before you do, uh, go through the wrappedpunks.com uh, flow and make sure you end up with the right punk here. Uh, so that's the first thing you need, uh, having a wrapped punk. So we'll go back to the NFTX website. Uh, for the second step, which is first off connecting your account. Uh, you can do it by clicking on the right top corner. Uh, right now we support MetaMask and Frame uh, and we'll obviously uh, support more wallets in the future. Uh, I'll be using MetaMask for this tutorial. Uh, so when I click on this, I'll connect my MetaMask account, which it shows it's connected to Mainnet. So make sure you're always connected to Mainnet when you're trying to mint. Uh, and that's it. So the next step when you're connected is going to the punk you want to actually mint a token from. So for this tutorial, we will use the punk basic pool. Um, by clicking on it, I'll open the actual pool with all the data uh, that's related to the fund. So here you will see uh, lots of data. So the supply, what type of fund it is. So this is a D1 fund, which is an input fund. And we also have D2 funds, which is a top level fund, which essentially consists out of multiple D1s. Uh, then a lot of technical details, which you don't need for minting, uh, the links to the contracts, the status of the pool and all the holdings. And this is very interesting. These are the current IDs from all the wrapped punks that are currently in the pool uh, and your wrapped punk ID will be listed here once we're through the entire tutorial. Uh, so having talked about all the info on this page, we want to get started minting. Uh, for To do this, you can click on the three dots menu on the page and click on mint. This will open a additional uh, layover on the right side and here you'll be asked to input the token ID. Um, if you're not familiar with what token IDs are, NFTs uh, have a unique ID for each NFT of the same, uh, from the same contract. So in the case of our CryptoPunk or wrapped CryptoPunk, we want to see what the ID is. And we can do that, this in two ways. We can do it on the wrapped punk website which it will show here. So it's, uh, we know the ID is 8144. Or uh, the more hard way, especially applicable for other NFTs, we will have to go through Etherscan uh, and check out the token ID uh, on the ERC721 token transactions. So I know that this punk is 8144. So going back, I now have to type in 8144 uh, and it will show that I have this ID and that I have to approve it. 
What you also saw is that there's a error message when you don't have the ID in your wallet, which shows DNA. Um, this mainly happens when you don't have the actual punk, so you can't mint a token, but it also happens when you forget to wrap your punk. So as, uh, in the case when you want to provide a CryptoPunk NFT, uh, make sure to always have it wrapped before you enter this process because otherwise you will be running into the error message. Uh, so we'll use the correct ID and then we click on approve transfer. Um, a good point before I click on confirm is that if I would want to mint uh, uh, multiple NFTs at the same time, instead of having approve transfer, I would click on approve all, which would approve all the IDs in one transaction, uh, cutting down on gas costs, which are rather high at the moment. Uh, but let's move through anyway. Um, right now the GUI price is very high, so gas costs are more than they are supposed to be. Uh, right now approving would cost me 11 bucks. Uh, and for the sake of this tutorial, I'll bump it up a little bit. Uh, and it's 1337, so that's nice. Uh, I'll confirm and I'll wait until this gets minted. So there we go. A uh, transaction has been uh, confirmed on my MetaMask. I don't think it's shown in this tutorial, but it's on the right side of my screen. Um, and right now it shows a check mark, which means I have approved the uh, wrapped punk to be used for minting a punk basic token. Uh, this is essentially the next step. So uh, I replicate the previous behavior. I click on the button again. And this is costing me a whole lot of money at the moment because gas prices are very high. Um, but anyway, I'll push through and confirm. And that's it. So right now, uh, it shows that Punk Basic has been minted successfully. Uh, I also got the confirmation from MetaMask that it's working. So I returned to the page and now I do own one Punk Basic D1 token, which is shown here. So I have a balance of one, uh, which in, an, in another tutorial, I'll cover how to use that Punk token for uh, redeeming a Punk from the pool. Uh, so I would be getting back a NFT, which is in the same category of the punk basic. Uh, it's a different one because the redeeming function is random. So you would get a random punk from the same pool if I redeem. Um, and also I'll use this D1 token first to actually supply uh, uh, or look for arbitrage opportunities and also to mint a D2 top level NFT token, which is called the Punk Core token, uh, which we then can wrap into Punk to either supply as liquidity on an AMM or to actually arbitrage and sell into an AMM. So that's it.